Hi, Sean Asmussen here from Bitversity. I'm going to share with you how to set up your CoinZoom account and get in there as a DAISY user. The first thing you need to do is make sure you are logged in to your TronLink account. Of course, make sure you're in the very account that you want to sign up with. So in this case, it will be your personal TronLink account that you use with DAISY. Once you're in that, you log in to daisy.global. When you're logged in, you'll make sure that you got your username there that matches your wallet in TronLink. You will see a little green link here. This is Daisy CoinZoom, and we're going to jump into there. You'll see a little get started button, and because we've come through this way, you are going to be linked with Daisy when you go into CoinZoom, and that's going to give you some bonuses. Now let's go over quickly why you want to be part of CoinZoom. First of all, CoinZoom enables a real easy way for you to buy Tron and USDT with a card or through your bank account. It also has a debit card facility and that is currently only available in the US but it will become available to international countries very soon. You'll be able to earn interest on your crypto so you put your crypto into CoinZoom so this could be your earnings from Daisy for instance move it in there and you'll earn interest on that you can also transfer between CoinZoom users with zero transaction fees probably more importantly you'll be able to convert crypto into fiat currency such as US dollars euros Australian dollars and put them straight into your bank account or your debit card so this solves a problem that many first time users in the crypto community are experiencing where they're having this problem of getting their money, their fiat currency converted into crypto and also how do they get their crypto back into their bank account. So now let's get started. Simply put in an email and a password. You do not need to have a referral token in here. You can now submit. Then go to your email and confirm. And here is my verification email. And it now takes me straight to the setup. So you can see here I'm in settings and under settings, I'm in the profile. So here I'm going to put my details in. You will see the asterisks where you gotta have the compulsory stuff. So I'm gonna put a name in, I'm going to fill everything in. And as far as your pre-tax income, just put something in, don't get too bogged down on that. Employment status, I think just put down full-time, part-time, doesn't really matter. Put your address in and at that stage, your mobile number is gonna to need to be a number that is not used on any other account. So if you have multiple accounts, you're going to need another mobile phone for this one that's tied in with Daisy. With your date of birth can be a little bit tricky for first timers. What you've got to do to catch the year is click on the year and then scroll back to the group of years. And if you're one of those fortunate people that were born last century, fantastic. And then you just pick your date. There you go. And you can change your Zoom handle to anything you like as long as it's not used anywhere. And if you see this button isn't highlighted and you can't click on it, it's because you have missed something in here. Maybe your date of birth or your gender or something like that. Just make sure everything is selected. And once you click submit, a code will get sent to this mobile number. So here we go. Now it's going to want to send the code. I'm going to click send code. Now it's not going to come to me because I put in a dodgy number. So at this stage, once you've confirmed that code, it's now going to move on to the next stage of your identification. So now this is what we call know your customer. At this stage, I'm gonna talk you through it because I've already done it and I can't share what it looks like. Basically, it's going to give you a QR code. It'll come up on the screen. You turn your camera on on your smartphone and you scan it then you go to that web address that it takes you to by tapping on your phone. At that stage, you are now going to download the app from the App Store. It's going to be the CoinZoom app 
and it's going to allow you to pick from, let's say, a passport or a driver's license. Then you grab your driver's license if that's what you selected and you will be able to scan the front of your driver's license with your phone, camera, and then the back of your license and then it will allow you to take a selfie as well. For me, it took about 5-10 minutes before they approved me. Just go and have a cup of tea and then wait for it to approve. It comes through pretty quick. At that stage, you are approved and then you're allowed to use the account. Now I've just jumped over to my live account and if I jump into my settings, you can see here I can change my password. I can set up my notifications. I think it's a good idea to have them on. And then in your advanced settings, you can do things like activate your two-factor authentication. That two-factor authentication is set up on this screen. You can go in and add your bank details, meaning that you can add a bank. And now you have the ability to put your fiat currency into CoinZoom, being Australian dollars, US dollars, euros, whatever. And this also gives you the ability to not only bring money in to purchase crypto, but also to sell your crypto back into fiat currency and bring that back into your bank account or even a debit card. So you can see this is going to make the process pretty simple for everyone. Zoom is actually where you can buy the Zoom tokens or you can just go in and purchase them in the trading itself. I'll show that in a separate session here. This is where you'll find your referral code. You can grab that here by copying it. And then now let's go and have a quick look through the menu up the top in the trading. This is where you can go and trade the different tokens. So let's say for instance, if I wanted to look at the Zoom token for USDT, I just typed in Zoom into the search and this is the current price of the Zoom token. If I wanted to buy Zoom tokens, I need to have USDT in here. The market price automatically come up here. So right now it's seven and a half cents for a Zoom token. So let's say I wanted to buy a thousand Zoom tokens. I can type in a thousand. It'll tell me I've got 52 US dollars available currently. I can buy them at the market price. I can use Zoom tokens as my fees, which saves me fees. And in this case, that will be $75. I don't have that in the account. So if I say 500, I can choose a limit. The limit means that I am giving a price, let's say below the market price. So it's seven and a half cents at the moment. I'll say I want 500 tokens and I want them at seven cents. So I will put the order in here by Zoom and that now places the order and that order ends up in my open orders. You see here, 500 tokens at seven cents sitting here ready to activate. I'm just gonna cancel that. The next menu item is earn. That's in your earn wallet. So here, let's go quick overview. It'll tell you everything you have in here, your US dollars, USDT, I should say, and Zoom tokens and anything else you have in here. So your trade wallet, that's what you're able to trade on the market, which was the previous screen we were in. Your earn wallet, that is interest that you're earning right now. So right now, this USDT sitting in this wallet is earning 8% and I'm getting an additional 10% on top. So 10% on top of what I'm earning in Zoom tokens as well. And that's the bonus that we get for being part of Daisy connected into Zoom. And then we've got a prepaid wallet, which is the debit card itself, which is a Zoom debit card currently at the time of this recording only available in the US, but will be hopefully available soon for international countries. That certainly is a bonus for us. If you want to bring funds into Zoom, the easiest way to do so is to click into portfolio and then look for your tether being USDT and click on receive. If it doesn't show up here at all, you can't see it because it doesn't exist in here, 
what you can do is untick this one that says hide zero balances and it will show everything. If you still don't see tether, then you can type USDT in the search and it will come up. And then you click receive. It will give you the tether address. And this is the address and you copy that address. I generally put that into a notepad. So I'll just open up a notepad and pop it in there so I can copy and paste it out of there. And then you go to an exchange somewhere where you have got USDT and you send it in here. That's providing that you have got USDT elsewhere. Otherwise, set up the bank account, tie it into here, and then you can put your fiat currency in and then turn it into USDT. Now it's really important to remember here that this is ERC20, meaning it's on the Ethereum blockchain. That means that you cannot send it from your TronLink wallet. If I was to go into my TronLink now and I want to send USDT and I click send and I put that address in, it's not going to work, right? Because this is Ethereum and TronLink is a Tron blockchain. However, somewhere it will work is from somewhere like Binance where they've got a bridge between the Tron and the Ethereum blockchains. As a real quick, super fast overview, first go to daisy.global, then go to your TronLink account, log in, make sure you're in the correct account. That wallet is going to log you in to Daisy. You log into Daisy at that stage, you're in, you make sure, yes, that is my username. You click Daisy Coin Zoom. It's going to take you to Coin Zoom. Click Get Started. And at this stage, fill in the form with your email and password. Click Submit. Go to their email. Click Verify. It's going to take you into the setup of your account. Put in your details and then get a code to your phone at that stage. You're going to verify yourself on your smartphone after having put the CoinZoom app on your phone. And at that stage, you're ready to go. Just wait for your verification and you're ready to go. Once you got some USDT in your account, something worth mentioning is that you may very well be able to put USDT in via the TRC20 blockchain soon. I would imagine that CoinZoom are going to have an Ethereum and a Tron address. And when that is the case, you'll be able to just copy the Tron version, go to your Tron link and put your funds straight in like that. As you can see right now, the price of Zoom is sitting around seven cents per token. I could imagine that once 150,000 Daisy accounts start going in there and a lot of them buying Zoom tokens, they could very well go up a lot. That is of course yet to be seen. So let's see where that goes. And that's it, that's all for me. It was pretty rushed through there, but really the, the main point here guys is really just to get your account set up. And for those of you who are familiar with these type of platforms, well, this is pretty basic stuff. And for the rest of you, we will go into further videos and going into some more basic information. So that's all for me. I'm Sean Asmussen from Bitversity. Thank you very much for being with me today.